Welcome back to the channel so you can show your appreciation for my hard work and efforts by subscribing to the channel as you know I try to keep making full hands-on courses as of now we are working on Python 0 to okay so if you want to show your appreciation you can just subscribe it keeps me motivated to keep making hands-on videos for you which helps a lot yeah one more thing so I just received this message from one of my students from batch one who got 100% hike with uh, in a inside a product based company and in this message you can see this is a special mention of corporate projects and that's what i have always said that the main highlight of my courses are that i explain you corporate le level projects with diagram with architecture explain you how they are built and deployed and what was my role as a devops engineer so if you are going for a devops interview interviewer mainly focus on understanding if the uh, candidate has good experience with corporate projects or not because if you have then it's a very high chance that you can get selected very easily yeah so in batch one actually i showed three corporate projects but in batch two i'll be explaining and showing you six corporate projects in addition to the projects that we are going to do hands-on so yeah if you're interested you can enroll the links will be in the description okay team one more thing so i have this telegram channel so this telegram channel is completely open many to many that means anyone can send messages so if you are having issue issues doubt queries you can just put it here someone will help you as you can see i think uh, uh, wish is available and he's helping as of now on also it's 4 a.m in the morning so that uh, like uh, people who are member of this group they are really helpful they will help you in a lot if you are facing any issues so yeah you can join this group also, if you want to directly reach me one to one, you can just ping me on uh, Instagram. I'm available there always. Yeah. So let's uh, jump into today's topic. So today we are going to get started with JSON manipulation, parsing and manipulating JSON data in Python. And I know this is going to be really helpful because we are going to work everything with hands on. Okay, team. So talking about JSON data. First of all, let's uh, let us understand what is JSON data and what format do, is it feasible. So on just Google, I just search like sample JSON data and this link I can click. So this formatted files you might have seen a lot in like Node.js based application as well as in other places. Okay. So this is the basic for format of uh, basically like JSON formatted data. Okay. And this is what uh, we are going to work with. We are going to work how we can change things. This is also this thing you are seeing. This is also a JSON formatted data. Okay. Having key value pairs, right? So yeah, uh, this is what we are going to work with and how to manipulate and how to manage their data with Python. Okay, so let me first of all see uh, when you want to work with uh, JSON data and you want to perform actions on JSON formatted data, you need to make sure that you have imported the library JSON. Okay, for that we can write uh, JSON. And now we have imported this library and we are going to use functions from this library to do any kind of actions on our JSON based data, right? Okay, so next what we need to do is basically create a JSON data. Okay, what we can do, we can create a variable JSON underscore data. Okay, and yeah, in this format we can create. So that will be like we need to create a key value pair. So let me quickly write some uh, uh, data so which we uh, with which we can work. And as I said, like it is going to be a key value pair. So first will be John, uh, sorry, name will be key and value will be John. Next we want to work with age, right? And it's uh, key is uh, uh, age and value will be 30. Next I want to work with city name, right? And let's provide a name as uh, New York. Okay, so this is our JSON data created, right? Next, what we need to do is basically we need to parse this data, parse this JSON data. Okay, so when we parse it, basically what will happen that it will be available in the format of dictionary. You know, like there is a, a special section uh, in uh, Python, we have dictionary where we store key value pairs, right? So for that, what we can do, I can create this variable data equal to json 
dot loads now this json dot loads basically it's a function from our json library which we are using here right so let me provide the data that we actually just created okay now this has been passed and if i try to print it using python so it will be printed in a dictionary format let us try that as well and let me save this python dot slash this you can see it just printed it in the uh, dictionary format okay as you know already that dictionary is a format in python where we store key value pairs right so uh, this is first thing that parsing json data you have the json data you can convert it into uh, a dictionary which is readable format for python right okay next let's let's talk about accessing json data okay when we talk about accessing json data that means similar to python that we are accessing the values of the keys we can do it uh, for json formatted data as well how do we do okay so it's like simple as that we are going to access it through key names okay in this format like data okay and then we can write uh, see basically we need to like to, when we talk about like accessing json data what we can do we can print its values okay let me show you that as well if i write print data and we need to access it through key names okay for example i want to get the details for i want to get the value for name key right and if i just copy this paste it here let's say i want to get the value for let's say age okay now basically this is a very simple way in which we can in which we can access this json data so this is our json data right first step that we need to do is convert this json data into a dictionary format okay which we can do using this loads function from json library right once we have converted the json data into a dictionary format then we can uh, perform any kind of action for example first thing that we are doing is accessing the data right so the data that we can access is through key names in in our case key names are let me make it big okay in our case key names are name age and city right more data can be added afterwards okay so in this format we have added and if i just try to execute this again we should be able to see the details first uh, it printed the actual data in a dictionary format right second it printed the values of name and age which is john and 30 right okay so this is the way that simple way we using which you can access the json based data right now let's talk about modifying json data okay so when we want to modify something what we can do we need we can directly use the same format that we used while working with dictionary right so what we can do we can write uh, 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 let's say i want to add some new uh, key value pairs okay so i will add let's say i want to add country also okay country and here we will put the name as usa right so this new data will be added in our uh, uh, dictionary right like let's say i want to update already existing data let's say i want to update the age to 28 okay so that also we can do in this format uh, age and i want to put it as 28 okay now we have uh, modified the uh, let latest uh, modified the existing data as well as added a new data in our uh, dictionary okay next what we can do is again uh, just print the uh, this format print the dictionary so we can see like our uh, so we can see that the changes that we made are is persisting or not and you can see the new data the new dictionary that we just uh, printed it is containing new values age is changed to 28 and country is changed to usa right so in this format what we can do basically uh, uh, accessing the json data as well as modifying it using uh, loads function first of all the steps are very clear first of all we need to import the uh, json library so that we can use the json functions there are other functions also which i will show you in a minute okay next thing we need to do is uh, here already we converted the json data into dictionary format once the data is converted to dictionary format then we can perform or uh, do any kind of actions that we do usually with python dictionary right to access the data we can directly access the data using their keywords 
I modified it also that also we can do very easily right okay now let's talk about next thing so uh, next thing is uh, how we can convert python data to json right because we have converted this this uh, json data to a python data which is dictionary now we need to convert it back right so how do we do that Whew, okay so what we can do is create another variable which will be updated json data okay and here we are going to use another function from json library which is going to be json dot dumps dumps is a function from json library and here we can provide the dictionary name which is data in our case right now this will what it will do it will update the changes that we have made back to json formatted data okay and now this will be uh, a json string just to prove it we can again run the command okay let me print it here mm -hmm. i'm not sure if it will work because that's a json data and still let us try to print it okay uh, let us see Now see these two actually seems very similar to you okay even though they are similar but they are actually in different format first one that you are saying it's a dictionary formatted data and second one is a json formatted data how do we identify you can see here it's having single quotes it's having double quotes in our json data we are having the data in the format of with like uh, double quotes while in dictionary we are using single quotes here so yeah, even though they seem similar, but they are not. First one is dictionary, second one is JSON formatted string, right? Okay, team. So now now let's talk about reading and writing from JSON JSON file. Okay, let's say like uh, first uh, I, what I want to do is uh, I have a dictionary. Okay, dictionary is similar to this one. So I have a dictionary, and what I want to do through that dictionary is basically put that data inside a JSON file. That it will be right writing inside a JSON file, right? so first of all that we will do then secondly we are going to use another function from json library to read the contents of that json data okay so first of all what i am going to do is remove this we just have this part okay now here this is the dictionary that i have created uh, a name data which has information name age and city as usual right next what I'm using with open when uh, I hope like you remember when we were we were working with file manipulation in Python so there we use this format with open converting the file into writable format uh, writable mode like converting it to readable mode or writable mode right W means we are converting it to it into writable mode okay and on left side also you see like uh, let me just remove unnecessary files Mm. yes so here as you can see there is no extra file right but what we are trying to do here is convert this dictionary based uh, diction dictionary data inside this uh, json formatted data okay and yeah side by side it will be converted into json format as well right okay so now uh, let me save this let me execute it now you see uh, left side this file got created output.json and inside it we have the dictionary uh, data that is also converted into uh, uh, json okay and how do we identify that it's not dictionary it's uh, json we can simply see through the uh, we were using like single quotes and here automatically it converted into double quotes because it's a json based data right so in this format you can like whatever Im uh, information you have you can just put it inside uh, your uh, uh, json based uh, uh, file okay we have uh, like put our dictionary uh, content of dictionary inside output.json which is a uh, json formatted json having this 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 file is having json extension okay so yeah this is the format in which you can write the information in uh, write some uh, data inside json okay next let's talk about reading from a json file right so what we can do uh, again we are going to use the same format we are going to convert the file into readable mode and then we are going to read from it okay what you need to remember is like we are using this specific function for writing dump dump function it exists inside json library 
and we are calling it using this format json.dump right to read a file from a json uh, to read a json formatted file we are going to use another uh, another function from json library so let me show you that as well open and here we are going to provide the name of the json file in our case it will be output.json and it is already on the same path where this par dot uh, pi uh, file is existing so we don't need to specifically provide any separate path right that will be r and as file we are going to treat it as file okay and here data equal to json dot load and here we are going to write file we are going to uh, we are going to pass this as file this uh, this output.json we are passing it as file right okay okay maybe let me make it the different uh, formatted variable xyz okay now let me try to print it save this and let us execute okay here you see this uh, it's again printed into uh, like whatever data that we were having inside this output.json it got printed here because we have opened the file into readable mode and we have opened the file into writable mode so both the things we just did okay we put the uh, contents inside output.json and then we read from this output.json okay and this is the way that we will perform reading and writing using two functions one is a dump function second is load function right so in this way you can work with json uh, json based files okay so yeah that's all for today's video and i hope it was useful so thanks for watching and have a nice day